Well, I decided we needed our racing fix, so we came to uh, Beatrice, Nebraska. It's about six hours away from Iowa, and it's uh, south of Omaha. It's their big race. They got about 200 cars last night. It's a big 3 8 It's walled all the way around. The wall is actually really, really, really tiny, so I could see it being easy to hop over the wall and come down into the pit area, but this is where uh, one of the chassis builders hometown is so there's a lot of jet race cars here but uh, I'll just do a video of me walking through the pit so you can see some of the cars I just want to apologize unfortunately I use my phone because I left my camera at home so that's why the screen isn't as wide as the other videos There were uh, cars from all over at this race. Uh, that's Ricky Thornton. He's uh, originally from Arizona, but he um, moved up here to race for Jet Racing, which is the hometown track, as I said earlier. There were tons and tons of cars here, and there was a lot that I didn't know, and usually I know most of them, but there's a Jeff Gordon throwback car there, which was kind of cool. He, Jeff Gordon was my favorite NASCAR driver. I got had a bunny hat for some reason. And this 7 car is actually a brand new Billy Moyer victory, the same as my brother's. That three car that just drove by, he uh, races in Makokita and Farley and stuff uh, weekly. I race with him about every week, and he was the national champion last year. And there was a school bus there to the right, which they made into a hauler, which is really cool. It's kind of redneck, but it's pretty cool. And that's uh, Damon Murdy's car. He wins stock car races like more than anybody. He's very, very dominant in that class. As you can see, there's quite a few cars in the pits. Uh, I've only walked on one side of the pit area, and I cross over in, in a little bit here, and I'll show you that side as well. But there was actually still probably 60 cars that I didn't walk by with the video camera because it was just uh, a lot of walking, and we wanted to get back before the races started, so we had a decent seat in the stands. I didn't get an official car count on how many cars were there, but it was uh, a lot of racing. It was from, I believe, 5.30 to 11.30, so it was a lot of racing for sure. There was actually a lot of Iowa boys there. Um, the 92 there, he's a chassis builder himself. He builds edge race cars. They're from, I think, Red Oak, Iowa. As you can see, a lot of people have ginormous haulers. Some have two cars in the trailers as well, with one's a backup and then one's their primary car. But if you travel a rod, it's nice to have that. And this is a four cylinder here. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. That's the starting class. It's the cheapest class to get into, and that's why there's quite a few of them. And this is a hobby stock. They don't race somewhere around us very much, but they always put on a really good show.
I just kind of made a video of every race, just kind of a lap or a half of a lap. And then this will be the sport mods. This is the class I'm in. That's my car there. Unfortunately, I forgot to video the stock cars. That was my bad, but that's what a IMCA stock car looks like. And then the main event was the modifieds, and that's Mitch's car. They put on a really good show. It was a very beautiful track, and it was a very nice facility, and everybody was really nice. So I'm glad we went for sure, even though it was a six-hour drive one way.